Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Civil Engineering Forum. In this video, we are going to talk about 10 most common problems in any air conditioner and even their solutions. Now if you are thinking your air conditioner is not working correctly or there is any damage or anything, watch this entire video because these are the most common problems people come across while using any air conditioner and maybe you can solve it by yourself. Now without wasting your time, we would quickly start with the problem number one that is dripping or leaking water. This is one of the most common issue faced by any AC user where water starts dripping from the indoor unit of your air conditioner. Let us see why this happens. And sometimes even wall dampness is seen on the particular wall on which your air conditioner is installed. While installing AC, if the drain pipe is not fixed correctly, then it is possible that instead of water getting in the drain water outlet pipe, it might find its way through anywhere else inside the indoor unit itself. And the wall beneath may absorb this dripping water leading to the damp wall, which we come to know after about a week or two of using the AC. To prevent this from happening, while you install your air conditioner, make sure to fix copper drain pipe connecting indoor and outdoor unit correctly with nut bolt such that water does not leak. Now it is possible that this drain pipe might be fixed correctly, but due to some dirt particles or anything, your drain pipe might be blocked and again water may not be able to pass through it and one more possibility might be due to the extreme weather. Direct sunlight on the exterior wall outlet pipe might break it and again the same problem might be experienced of blocking water outlet. So in order to solve this we need to change the pipe at every 2 to 3 services that is at every 2 to 3 years. Water leakage issue through the indoor unit will never happen if you follow this. Then problem number 2 found in any air conditioner is too much noise. First of all, this problem is based on the air conditioner brand. If we talk about the top selling brands like O General, Mitsubishi, Daikin, Samsung, LG, then Panasonic, these air conditioners produce noise less than 50 decibels sound. This is based on the study that consistent sound more than 50 decibels might create discomfort for the users. But sometimes it may so happen that using air conditioners of this popular brands will be silent when you install but about after 3 to 4 years eventually noise increases more than 50 decibels. This may be because you might not have serviced your AC on regular basis and even filter net in the indoor unit might not be cleaned. Due to this the blower fan in your indoor unit will reduce its efficiency and in order to compensate it it will require more power. But apart from this due to vibration in the axis this even makes noise. This is why it is very important to service your air conditioner every year and clean and wash the filter net in your indoor unit by yourself every 30 days. It is not always your indoor unit making noise. If your outdoor unit is placed near the window which is not soundproof, the noise may be heard inside of the compressor motor which makes the maximum noise in any air conditioning system. In this case, your AC is not a culprit. Simple solution to this is making your window soundproof. This might make your room or office silent. Then third most common problem found in any air conditioner is gas leakage. Sometimes it may so happen that AC might be working properly. Indoor unit blower fan, compressor, entire condenser, all these things are working correctly. Then too there is no cooling inside your room. This may be because refrigerant gas in the copper coils might be falling short because of some fault that made it to leak. Generally, this refrigerant gas does not require any refill. But due to this leakage, the gas might be over. This leakage might be due to the corrosion in copper coils or might be the valves not fixed correctly while installation. Due to this leakage, every year you might have to refill the gas again and again. In short, we need to identify and rectify this leak. The easiest way to identify this leaking gas is if you feel some weird smell near the vents of the indoor unit or inside the room, it may be the sign of leaking refrigerant gas. In this case, the gas leaking should not be ignored and necessary precautions should be taken to stop this leak. If necessary, the technician should be called because this refrigerant gas might even create adverse effect on our health. Then fourth common problem is not blowing air. This also is one of the very common problem where switching on AC might not blow air inside your room. To troubleshoot this problem, at first we need to check the vents. If inner and outer vents are opening properly, open the flaps of the indoor unit, remove the filter net and clean it. If this filter net is blocked due to dust particles, air suction might not be possible. And still if the air is not blowing, get your indoor unit blower fan checked by a professional. 
You can identify whether this indoor unit blower fan is working or not. Just take your ears near the vents. Even if a little sound is heard, it means this is working. Then fifth common problem is status light blinking. Has your AC all of a sudden started to blink light in the indoor unit? This should not be ignored because this means your air conditioner is facing some performance issue. It is possible that right now AC might be working perfectly, but in future this will definitely create some problem. There may be any electrical issue or might be any part is broken, gas leaking, anything which needs immediate repair. Do not ignore this, get it inspected by any expert before the problem exceeds. Then sixth is error codes. Similar to the status light, in few brands there are error codes displayed in the indoor unit screen in case there is any fault with your AC. This is similar to the error codes in your car like engine overheat, seat belt, headlight, gear suggestion but here codes with letter or number will be displayed in AC which can be known from the internet or user manual of the brand. Knowing this code you can identify the problem. In short here we have self diagnosis system. Error code here may be for refrigerant coolant empty, issue with compressor, condenser service, capacitor replace and even for the filter clean. Then seventh problem is trunking condensation. We have applied cover to the AC electrical cables and copper conduits while installation. Sometimes due to condensation process water starts to drip from this casing when we switch on the AC. This is because when the moisture content in air comes in contact with the chilled air in AC, this becomes water and starts to flow in the casing. This happens due to inappropriate insulation in the piping system or due to the blockage in trunking system. So you need to repair this in the next service. This does not damage any other part so it is not urgent but make sure that it is done without fail. Then eighth problem is weak capacitor. It is little tricky to identify the broken or a weak capacitor in your air conditioner. When indoor unit fan is running but it blows air at room temperature. This may be because sometimes indoor unit fan is running but it blows air at room temperature. This may be because outdoor unit is not working. Noticing outdoor unit you might end up with it tries to start every 30 seconds due to the buzzing sound but it fails to. This is the sign of a weak capacitor. You need to replace it. It is also possible that outdoor unit fan may also be working but the compressor is not starting at all. Even this is the sign of a weak or a dead capacitor. Then problem number 9 is issue with the condenser fan motor. Generally what happens here is indoor blower fan is working correctly. Outdoor unit compressor is also working but here condenser fan motor is not running. Due to this inside the room it is possible that it blows chilled air but outdoor unit might be overheated and sometimes even flames are seen. This may be because you might not have started your AC since about 2 to 3 years and due to this motor is jammed. You can try to rotate the fan seen from the outdoor unit. It is possible that it may start to rotate with slight force and will work properly for the entire season. But if it doesn't you need a technician to repair this motor. Should not use it in this situation before repair. Then our 10th and the last problem is AC tripping problem. Sometimes it so happens that as soon as you switch on the AC the MCB gets tripped. So here main thing you need to check is current. You can use a ampere meter to check the current in the switchboard. It may be due to varying voltage that produces current more than required for that particular device. You can check the required current and voltage in the user manual. Exceeding the value there is some problem with the voltage at your place which trips your AC to save the particular device capacitor else the capacitor will be blown. In this case air conditioner technician is not required but an electrician is needed to check for the voltage. So friends these were the top 10 most common problems and their solutions for any air conditioner. I hope this video was useful for you. And if this is so just click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel civil engineering forum. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.